Hey, what's up guys? It's Uncle Kobe, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Nuketown Zombies, and more specifically, how zombies will be integrated into Nuketown, uh, because I think it's safe to say that a vast majority of us are really excited for Nuketown, and uh, of course, zombies that comes with it, but no one has really talked about how they're going to go about it and, you know, make it zombie playable, and Treyarch concluded they haven't really given us anything besides, you know, that little picture revealing that it's going to be in the game. But other than that, really nothing as far as I know. If you have any other insight, please share it down below. But like I said, no one has even mentioned how Zombies is going to be integrated into Nuketown. Because as is Nuketown, assuming it's the same layout as Black Ops 1, it's not a good Zombies map at all. You know, if Zombies was played on it, it would just be a run around and kill game. You know, kind of like Survival or whatever that is in MW3. A well-made Zombies map is created in a way that players can travel around and explore different parts of the map. You know, storing up points to take down certain obstacles, you know, so you can make it towards your, you know, different power-up stations and weapon boxes and things like that. But the multiplayer Nuketown map is not set up for that at all, you know, it's not well constructed for to be a zombies map. So something has to happen, a certain event or something to allow Treyarch to manipulate the map to fit zombies in a more effective way. And I have a theory how they might do that. So I believe that certain event that I was referring to is the nuke. You know, that'd be easy to incorporate, you know, I could see how it would work. You know, and if a nuke goes off, the landscape would change dramatically, buildings would be broken down, stuff would be on fire, barriers will be destroyed and like flattened, so that alone would give Treyarch the ability to play around with the map a little bit and adapt it for zombies. But I'm going to take my theory one step further and say you'll be playing Underground 2. And I know that might sound kind of weird at first, but think about it. When a nuke goes off, it's widely believed and just assumed that humans would be forced to burrow underground to escape the radioactive <coughs> wasteland, excuse me on the surface and people that do get trapped up on the surface turn into mutated zombies so you know I can picture this starting the game underground and zombies are trying to break into our fort or whatever it is they're taking over so we have to start moving around finding the power-ups finding the weapon box and sooner or later make it up to the surface where there's even more map to explore to me that sounds like a pretty badass and a pretty good idea but again this is just a theory what I'm trying to say is something has to happen with the map for there to be zombies Nuketown's layout is not fit for a fun zombies experience but let me know what you guys think can you see my idea of being a reality or do you have another one but I think we can all agree on my overall point that Treyarch is gonna do something to the map anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this quick little video even though it's small I thought it was a cool idea to make a video about and if you did I'd appreciate it if you give it a like rating leave all your thoughts and answers and compliments down below but a day till Halo 4 and a week till Black Ops 2 so get excited for that this was Uncle Kobe I'll see you guys later peace